In today's video, you're going to learn how to quickly put in image and text overlays using Screencast-O-Matic. These are great ways uh, to promote your sponsors or to put different watermarks or just any kind of images that you're talking about during your recording. Stay tuned. Hey there, welcome back. So my name is Jacob Bilt. I'm the CEO of Bilt Enterprises. And today is a Tech Thursday segment where we go over some technology that can help you both in business uh, and in life. And today we're going to be covering Screencast-O-Matic, which is what I use um, for my video productions and media production. I'm not super, super uh, media savvy on a lot of stuff. Um, I like things that are kind of simple. Um, that are quick and, and everything just kind of like an all-in-one. And so Screencast-O-Matic has actually been a really good software for me. But before I go any further, I need to give a huge shout out to this week's show sponsors. And so again, guys, uh, thank you so much for your donations and coming in and supporting me as a creator. I just want to give a quick second to shout out. So first of all, I got Pull My Pork Barbecue, uh, which is out of Casper, Wyoming. Uh, he has a, a barbecue business. Not only does he have an online store at Pull My, uh, Pull My Pork Barbecue.com, uh, but he also has a lot of YouTube videos with tutorials on how to when it comes to cooking barbecue as well as um, uh, how to use different apparatuses different equipment and accessories so again thank you so much and also I have uh, Pixel Pia uh, teaching and learning uh, it's an educational channel uh, she's a, a teacher that's been around for 30 years uh, teach our, um, uh, was in the education industry both uh, in the United States as well as Sweden and so a uh, really good educational channel definitely go over there and take a look at her then I have the Michael Thornley Foundation um, which is you can find him over at michaelthornley.org or you can see his YouTube channel and he talks about conservation, endangered species, uh, habitat repair uh, and uses everything as kind of like an educational platform to let people know uh, what's going on and what we need to bring our attention to when it comes to endangered species. I also have Duke Family Chronicles that came in. Uh, they're a family vlog. Uh, they do a lot of family travel, a lot of um, a lot of Disney events, um, a lot of unboxing and stuff like that for family. Very family oriented channel. So that's the kind of stuff you like. Go ahead and go check them out. And then last but not least, I have uh, Donnie the Entertainer came in, does a lot of uh, a lot of stand-up pranks, a lot of real-world pranks. Um, really, a, a really, really entertaining channel. I mean, he's Don Donnie the Entertainer, right? And so, Donnie Stoppa, thank you so much for your donation, and I do appreciate all you guys' support. So, anyways, you are here to take a look at how to do this on Screencast-O-Matic, and I'm going to show you right now. All right, so first step, if you don't have Screencast-O-Matic, uh, there's going to be a link uh, in the description of this video that you can click and you can go to it. Uh, they have um, they have different options. There's you know free options and there's uh, a, a couple steps up. I think there's like a like a premium and like a legendary or like a super premium or something like that. Uh, anyway, so when you download that, uh, this is what the screen's going to look like uh, when you do have Screencast-O-Matic, and so it's really 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 simple. You can also import a lot of your audio files so you can use it in through this system and again um, some people do say that this is a very powerful system um, I think and it could be more powerful than what I think it is it just it's super simple and super easy to use and so uh, in this lesson we're just going to take a look at how to do a text overlay now when you saw uh, the sponsor introductions uh, on this video uh, there'll be icons and text overlay on some or all of them and so that's kind of what it does so <laughs> what you're going to do is you're going to pull up a video here right so we're just going to pull up um, just a recording I did yesterday here so we're we're going to pull that up and then you see, you know, my, my awesome sexy face right here looking at you. And, and then, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to edit this video. So we're going to go down here to the right hand side and then we're going to click edit. Now I'm going to try to, I have a, uh, since I'm doing a screen share here, um, I, I do see my screen on the bottom right hand side. And so I'm going to, I, I might have to navigate a little bit differently than you would on your end. Right. So here's the edit screen, right? So we have the video looking at us, uh, and then we see the, the sound bar down below and then you have your different options. And I'll be covering these in, in some different tutorials. I also do have kind of like a general overview of screencast. A matter of fact, I'll put a uh, I'll put a card up on the right hand side, and if you want to see just a general overview, you can click on that. And so what we're going to do is it's really simple. We're just going to go down to tools here. We're going to select where we want to do this. So, um, say we're just going to select it um, right here. Okay. Well, that's. <laughs> Look at that face. That's all face only a mother could love. Uh, here, well, there we go. Okay. So. We're going to pull up tools, and there's just a ton of options here, but again, this is just for overlay. Uh, so we're going to click on overlay, <coughs> excuse me, and then we're going to pull up an image, right? We're going to click the image here, and then we are going to find out, or we're just going to 
do what I mean you can you upload your your files from your computer or drives or whichever um, we're just going to use one of our sponsors today so we're just going to use um, this image and, and this image was a uh, uh, was a, a screen a screen snap that I did uh, or a screenshot that I did using a, a snipping program uh, so I can advertise him so it's really easy I mean we just we can change the size here uh, with the you know with the proximity dots here um, we can change that how we want we click on it we move it wherever we want to move it right it's really 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 simple um, and that's why I really like this program uh, so we'll just put it down to a size that we want here and then um, and then you can do different things I mean you also have the slot the the crop bar right here so we can actually crop it uh, to how we want it. if we don't want a, a big white space or whichever we can crop it down and make it look a little bit better uh, and again there's also there's a ton of options when it comes to how we want to flip it if we want to remove certain colors um, we can also do that here <laughs> and then you can change the transitions if you want I normally like things to fade in uh, but again you can change however you want it I mean it could be it can be again a transition it could be a pop that comes in or the or it could just or you just come in there could be no effects on it um, so that's really um, that's really up to your own preferences and then um, and then we'll click this here as well and we're done with the transitions um, and then uh, we can adjust when we want this to pop in and then how long we want it to pop in so uh, you can either um, use these arrows to do one second increments uh, or you can take this and you can drag it for as long as you want it to go if you want it to match up uh, to certain things and so again super simple we can drag it we do what we want we can copy it if you want to do a certain icon you know multiple times um, it's just really it's just really an easy software to um, uh, to work with and so uh, that being said uh, we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to add a text in lane or a text overlay now right so we're going to go ahead and uh, click on this and then we're going to go ahead and do the tools again and then we're going to go ahead and put in uh, on the overlay we're going to click on text and then you can again you can do a lot of editing on this as well you can change the background you can do whichever uh, double click on it and say uh, best we'll just do uh, best wildlife foundation best wildlife foundation did I spell foundation right I mean it doesn't really matter I think I hit it, an extra key and then again I mean you can center it you can do uh, different text here's your uh, or excuse me different fonts here's your fonts uh, size uh, your background you can highlight the test or not you can have a background on it, a shadow a call out uh, I mean for example like we were going to do a call out on this um, I can move it up you know say if I was going to do a call out on my mouth right um, I'll just move it up right here keep it in and then I could take this and I can stretch that out boom right now we got a call out you know you can change the background colors you can do anything and then also with this as well uh, when it comes to the text is we can go ahead and expand how long we want the text to be as well and so again it's pretty simple I mean there's a bit of a learning curve but it's not too crazy and this is kind of how to do um, your text overlays uh, as well as your image overlays and again you definitely want to experiment with it um, the one of the one of the hardest things um, to do in my opinion um, with this software is getting the timing right you know like for example when I stretch this out time wise you know um, when I stretch it out and say um, I'm trying to match say this with say like the text um, then you you have to you know you have to hit some of the buttons and everything to make sure they're both timed perfectly right and so getting the intro timing is good getting when they both fade out or transition uh, it just takes a couple extra seconds to really fine-tune to make sure they appear and disappear in the same way and then when you're done with everything you just click done it'll save it and then you'll go to um, you'll go to this page right here and you can edit how long you want it to be and then you save the video file for however you want to save it so again guys that's a uh, that's a really quick and dirty um, way to uh, do these kind of overlays so if you have any questions definitely drop it in the comment box below um, and I'll be making kind of a little series uh, using screencasts especially for people that are just getting into this uh, because my background is not in graphic design by any means uh, or multimedia this is all new to me so as I learn things um, I share it so people can also follow along and then it makes me better at it as well so again this is how to uh, put in overlays as well as text on video 
and uh, my next one will more than likely uh, be something with um, with inserting uh, new videos and doing some snipping. So uh, again, guys, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you all later.